I think. Cool. Oh. Yeah. It does, it does go, though. Um. I've just been kind of venting for the last, like, I don't know, for all of today, kind of. Just, like, just been watching, like, stupid shit and just, like, being like, why am I just watching shit and not creating? Because I could tell that, yeah, it's just a blue ball situation. It's just what it is. So, like, basically, out of desperation to get out of this horrible cycle I'm in, you know, I'm just doing these videos where I'm just kind of like in between where I'm not really doing anything but I almost am tricking myself into thinking that I'm like I'm like making art still you know and I'm hoping that that'll like give me some inspiration I'm pretty tired right now so like you know I, I've said this in like a bunch of I've been like doing different clips and shit it's been crazy um I love you I love you too boo boo yeah, I don't know, man. Fuck. It's like I did some shirt designs recently, and, like, I'm good. And, like, fucking collaging, I'm good. Sewing, I'm good. Fucking everything, I'm good. I'm just... I am just tired. I really do need to just meditate. Like, I could just tell that, like, my brain is all fucked up. And, like, I do genuinely feel better after talking in all these videos. Like, I can tell that something is, like, my brain's a little bit more clear, like, less tired, which is weird to me, but. Oh, yeah, another thing I've been on and off working on for, like, years now, probably, is, like, just kind of the idea of doing a tarot deck eventually and, like, that's a whole nother bag of worms because it's like so, I mean, first of all, like, I know the tarot pretty well, like I do. I have, I have like a long history with tarot, so it's not like, it's not like I'm having to learn fucking day one shit, but, but like, it's like, the tarot is so detailed and like, I, you know, like, what's the purpose of it? For me, the purpose of, like, doing my own tarot deck is, one, first and foremost, to, like, correct the things that I've always been bothered about the tarot. Like, there's a few things, like, the temperance card is, is really misconstrued and, like, misunderstood. And it's actually crazy because it's something about, um... It's something that's super important about life in general. Like, to give context, the temperance card is this person who's holding two cups and and is, has one foot in a pool of water and the other foot on land and is pouring one of the cups into the water. And it's water pouring into water. And then one of the cups onto the ground and the water's pouring onto the ground. And um, there's like a star behind them and stuff. And it's and it's just like, you know, I think that a lot of people just think that it just means like a, a peacefulness because it's like temperance, you know what I mean? But, um, but peace is interesting because that's also misunderstood. So I think that people just like think, oh, it's just like kumbaya, like I'm in control of my life and like this is chill, right? But like temperance is like so much more than that. And I think that like I... I want to show, like, I want, it's hard because, like, in my heart, like, I've never been able to stray from the Rider weight deck, which is, like, a very, very popular, which, like, usually I like the shit that's weird, but, like, I really, something about the deck, like, the way Pamela Smith illustrated that shit is just so, like, she was so fucking on it, you know? It was, it's just really, like, I love it. Like, so for me it's hard to like separate myself from like the person that's a fan of that that exact art and somebody who's like we need to revamp this shit and make it something that's more understandable rather than this like mystic thing because part of the tarot is that it's like this beautiful mystic thing and that not everybody can understand it but like my whole mentality in life is like life is magical all of us are spiritual beings and we need to realize that so that we could be creating magic and making the world a better place. That's how I feel like as like a Wiccan and as like a spiritual person. 
everything that I am. Like, I'm not better than somebody else. Like, I'm not special. Like, like I believe that literally anybody who's psychic, anybody who fucking can read minds, anybody who can speak with spirits, like, anybody who fucking sees auras, like, well, all that crazy shit, clairvoyance, levitation, whatever the fuck they said they could do. I believe every human being is capable of that shit. Like, we all are. Like, nobody's... The only reason anybody's special for being able to do any of that shit is that they just have, like, the upper hand. Like, they just have more of a natural natural inkling. Like, that'd be like saying, like, you know, baseball players were, like, you know, special. It's like, like, yeah, the baseball player is special if they train really hard and maybe they have, like, a natural endurance and, like, a natural strength. Like, okay, yeah. But anybody could play baseball, dude. Like, they might not be the fucking best. They might not be, like, the fucking top team or anything, but... Um, yeah, so for me, the tarot deck, I really do want to change it completely, which, like, does fuck with me, because, like, as a person who loves the tarot, like, I, like, when people fuck with it, I don't relate to it anymore, and, and I, I know that not everybody feels that way, but it has to be for me, otherwise, what the fuck is the point of the deck, and one of the things that I've been challenging myself to do when it comes to, like, tarot specifically is I really want to find a new deck because I'm like this deck has been great but I've like I've fucked with this deck so hard for so long and I've tried so many different other decks and just none of them have really like called out to me and like felt like they were me you know and the Ryder Smith weight d does not either but like It doesn't feel like it's me necessarily, but I do feel like it's like the training wheels. You know what I mean? <sighs> Just, yeah, I don't know. Like, for instance, like, um, totally disagree with, like, the, the page and the knight, the queen and king thing. Like, that's so medieval. <laughs> Duh, right? Um, I mean, to the point that it, like, makes it so that we don't really understand what the cards mean anymore. Which is funny, because, like, I mean, it's how long has it been since, like, even, like, the difference between, like, a man and a woman, like, you know what I mean? Like, the, the male being superior in some way. Like, that, that's a new concept, sadly. Like, it really is. Like, it's, like, new to our culture. And it's... So, I mean, the cards in that way are being misconstrued because it's, like, basically, yeah, whatever. So that, that, you know what I mean? And then, like, for instance, with the Pentacles card, this is another thing that bothers me about the tarot is that a lot of the history of the tarot is for um, people, basically, like, a lot of Wiccan culture comes from these wise women that were basically outcasts in their, in their villages and in their towns and in their in their communities they were basically the ones that knew all the ancient culture that basically they were in these pagan cities and in these pagan towns and like they were the ones that kept the old ways and basically they were kind of shunned but they were also like paid to do shit like give people abortions like <laughs> you know um fucking you know uh make sure their husband wasn't cheating on them like uh, make sure that the kid was gonna be a boy if they were pregnant, you know what I mean? Like, just the shit that, like, that was, like, seen as wrong during the time period, but, like, these people were paying these women to do it. So, to keep in mind that context, one of the things that, that the tarot was used for was in that context, and these people are wanting to hear, like, oh, I'm gonna be wealthy, I'm gonna make money, like, I'm gonna be prosperous, like, these are not your friends, like, when we read tarot now, it's, like, usually, for, for normal people like me, like, we're reading somebody we care about, or even if it's a stranger, we're, like, we're not afraid to tell them the truth, we're not, like, oh, bitch, like, I just gotta get paid, and, you know, there's people that do that shit, too, but I'm, I'm not about that. And that's kind of the whole thing with the tarot is that like for me the pentacles have always represented like spirituality because each of the suits means something like cups is emotion swords is mental the um 
the wands is like actions in life, like physical actions. And to me, the pentacles has always meant the spiritual side of things. It's the, it makes everything make sense. Like in a way I get how it's spiritual wealth because there's the, there's the swords and the cups, right? We have the emotional and the mental. Those are things that are within the body, right? Then we have wands, which is outside of the body. And then pentacles, which is a physical outside of the body wealth. I get that. But I really don't like the idea of, of bringing wealth into a spiritual practice. So that's why it gets difficult. Because it's like when you're changing like strong things like the pentacle suit... Like, it's different than just coins because it's also could be known as coins. So, I mean, it's it's like you're changing the meaning. You know what I mean? Like, the, this shit has been picked specifically for a reason. Like, I mean... So, yeah, it gets difficult. So, that's something I've been wanting to do, but I kind of start it and then I'm always like, uh, because, like... What is the what is the point of it? You know what I mean? Am I am I gonna be making like a whole new thing? And then also like bringing in Van Tana Row. It's like okay, like I want to make a tarot deck for myself, but I also want it to be like a Van Tana Row tarot deck. So I've thought about different things, like making it like okay, is it just gonna be based on us, like our personal life? Like, and I'm like, that's not very relatable. Like, it, I, we're not making a fan fan deck. You know what I mean? Like, that's such a weird like. I don't want to do that, like, but I do want to put our spin on it, like, you know, maybe, like, I don't know, like, maybe make it, like, music-related, maybe make it from the perspective of somebody like me, you know what I mean, but not, I just, this is the thing about tarot that makes it magical, too, is that it's very, like, for the most part, it's, like, it's not super detailed, and that's the thing with, um, with prophecies and like fortune telling in general, like it can't be too detailed because the truth of it is, is that any sort of fortune telling is just like a mirror for you to look in and, and have yourself tell you what's going on. That's the point of it. Like, you know, there's a long history of people saying so many different things about fortune telling of all different kinds. At the end of the day, what it's always been is a mirror you know, if somebody tells you that you're a fucking Aries and that your head's strong, right? You could say the same thing about a Taurus. It's about whether you believe it and how you take it and how you apply it to your life. Like, is it, how are you going to make that make you a better person? You know what I mean? Or, or make you a worse person, I guess. But, <laughs> um, so yeah, like kind of taking all those things into account, like how do you make a tarot deck and, and what is it going to be? before so I want to stop this clip before it uh